Good morning. Welcome to the Outdoor Archives. Spring's trying to come in, but winter's just, I guess, making its last stand here. At least I hope that's what it is. We just had a nice snowstorm. Temperatures have dropped again. But uh, you know what? I love it. It's beautiful out here in the winter. I mean, check this out here. So last time I was here, uh, I did the, um, I believe the maintenance, the tool maintenance video. Um, it kind of got me thinking, as I'm spending more time here and going further and further into the woods, I have never put together um, a survival kit of any sort. And I guess it's getting more and more real each time I go a little further. I mean, last time I was going down these cliffs and I slipped a few times if I you know, fell and injured myself um, to the point where, you know, I couldn't get back or damaged some gear. And I'm a, I mean, I'm, I'm a woods wanderer. When I get to camp, I set up camp and then I start wandering around. I start checking the area out, go for a little walk. If I somehow got separated from my gear and uh, had to spend the night, I don't really have a kit that was uh, meant to do that. So I've put one together here and, uh, I've thought about it for a couple days and you know whipped together a kit and I'm going to show it to you guys. We're going to call this kit version 1.0 because I'm sure there's going to be many updates to it. So we're going to start there. And also I'm out here earlier than usual because I plan to make some make a quick breakfast and uh, I've got to have a coffee. I have not had a coffee this morning and I just started walking and Wow, it just doesn't feel right. So I'm going to get on that. I'm going to make my way down to our area and uh, set up a camp. We'll set up a camp and uh, start cooking a little bit and show you my kit. Well, I kind of made it down the hill here without too much problem. I found a new way in here. It saves me quite a bit of walking actually. Uh, found a little trail, kind of a side trail that's not often used. And uh, it just cut about 20 minutes off my walk in, which is quite nice. So this here is where I did the uh, maintenance review. And I'm gonna have my breakfast here this morning, streamside. Yeah, I think I like that idea. Well, that's better. The smell of coffee fills the air. I haven't had one this morning, so. Oh, that's good. Perk coffee is pretty amazing. I don't know if you've ever tried it. My parents used to make it as a kid and then we got into the coffee makers and kind of stopped drinking coffee for a while. And then one time went on a, a flying fishing trip and all we had was an old tinny, ugly percolator, but it made the best coffee I'd had in years. Oh, that is really good. Okay. So now that I could think, I'm going to talk about the survival kit I threw together. So I put it in a compact um, pouch like this. And the reason I did that is because this one has these clips here. And these can go around your belt or uh, connect to some molly backpacks or what have you. And it seems to be a perfect size. Now I'm going to call this kit version 1.0 because I know this kit's going to change. This is my first run at it. Um, there's a couple things that I was already, you know, thinking about um, changing and, you know, it, it's a never ending uh, experience. I guess you're, you're learning and you're, you're constantly upgrading and changing it. So 
I'm gonna show you what I have here and tell you what I packed. It's packed full. I'll show you everything inside and kind of explain why I did that. Okay, so a few categories I was thinking of when putting this kit together was um, I'm gonna need a fire. I'm gonna need some kind of shelter. I'm gonna need some kind of water purification. I'm gonna need some kind of communication or signaling device. Um, and I'm gonna need some form of first aid in case I get injured. Um, now, I was thinking that, you know, it, it was feasible to build a pack to try and get me out of, um, you know, a situation where every time I go out, somebody knows where I am, um, at least roughly. And if I weren't to return, you know, I have, uh, I have many friends and relatives that, that would come looking for me. So I would probably need to survive 24 hours, you know, and maybe in the worst circumstances, you know, three days. So I'm hoping that what I've got here will, meet, will fit that criteria. So I got this pouch here. I think it's, uh, I think I got it on eBay. It's pretty inexpensive. And again, I like it because you can, you know, lash this to just about anything. Uh, you put it on your belt. When you get to camp, if you're going for a little walk, you just take this with you and you have you know, pretty much everything you need in case you get into some kind of trouble. So let's start by uh, opening this here. Okay, of course, first, I'm sure everyone knows you've got a blanket um, that can, of course, keep you warm. You can build a shelter and use this as a reflector for the heat from the fire. A lot of uses for that, pretty standard. And I've got, these are no particular order, by the way. Um, I just kind of put everything where it seemed to fit and this seemed to be the best fit. I've also got a bag because I'm gonna need a way to, you know, carry water to and from a stream or water source. Now, I brought, this knife it's called the CRKT spew and the reason I, I brought it is because it's a full tang knife and you know I think that if I had to do some light batoning I could do it with this to get a fire going that's gonna help me a lot I can't go crazy I could take down some small saplings but I, I think this would be you know for, for the form factor I think this would be a great knife okay contents of the pack Got a little star flash signal mirror. Okay, now this is a first aid kit. Um, I don't personally have a lot of first aid experience, so me bringing you know, a really complex kit is not gonna help me a whole lot. So I've got just the basics in here. Um, Band-aids, some gauze. This is hand sanitizer. Uh, I guess if you had to clean a wound, uh, you can use it to start a fire. Got some iodine in here. You could, uh, I guess you could even use that to purify water if you absolutely had to. Some band-aids, some pills. Again, these are those little containers. I bought a bunch of these on eBay and I just find these absolutely invaluable. And this one here has pills in it. I have some Gorilla Tape here. Could help seal up a wound, could help build a shelter. I don't know, there's about 10 feet or so in there. I've got also a little rain poncho. Again, this might help me build a shelter, um, you know, or just keep the rain off me for a couple of days. And I'm sure I could find many other uses for that as well. Small, tiny flashlight. This is a Phoenix E05. Batteries in it just to help me get around at night. It's not the brightest thing, but it sure, certainly will help me get around at night. Of course, some cordage. This is not paracord or anything, but there's about 20 feet here. Um, I think it was 20 or 20, 25 feet here. So that's gonna help me build a, a shelter. And of course, I've got a combination whistle, compass, and it's got a little magnesium stick on here. And I really like the whistle on this. I mean, watch out. I mean, I could even go louder than that, but this opens up here. I, I do have another mirror in here and I have some fire starter uh, matches in here. A little bit of cord here I can repurpose if I needed to. Okay, and I've got some tin foil. 
again, many uses. You can use this as a windscreen. Um, what I was thinking is that if I had to boil water, I could kind of, you know, have, make a makeshift cup with this. I don't know, there's like a two foot by two foot roll here and boil small amounts of water to, uh, to purify it. Okay, and then here is another fire kit. Of course, I've got a lighter. I've got these little, these are little dollar store igniters. You just light these and each one will burn for, you know, two to three minutes. Um, so I, the, the longer ones will burn for four or five minutes. I cut them in half and they do work really well. And of course, I've got a striker here as well, just in case I need to, you know, start a fire. Okay, and now I've got my, uh, this is just a Gerber multi-tool here. It's got decent pliers in here. Uh, it's got a few screwdrivers that I can use to repair equipment. Um, it does also have a, uh, uh, these are all pretty stiff, but there's a knife in there. And one thing I did like about it, is that it does have a mini saw so if i had to you know might help with some camp construction and things like that and it's also got a tiny pair of tweezers in there somewhere um they'll uh they can help you remove a tick or slivers and things like that okay and here i've got a mini fishing kit So what I've got here, if I can get it out of the bag, come on now. So I've got two lengths of line here, and this one I think is 12 pound test, and this one is like a four pound test, but it's that braided line, it's pretty strong, it's really hard to break. You know, this could double as uh, some thread to, uh, you know, repair some of your items. Um, and you know this could even it's pretty strong you could probably use this for a snare as well and i've got some hooks and some uh sinkers that are taped up and if you see where we are the stream here this could be a pretty valuable resource to get you some food so that's about it and again this is version 1.0 i know there's going to be revisions here uh, i know there's going to be things that uh I probably left out. I don't know, I may have to go bigger. I'd, I'd like to go smaller if I could, but I think this seems to be a pretty good size, at least to start from. So, you know, let me know if there's something I'm missing or something that uh, you think would be perfect for this kit, let me know and put it down in the comments below and uh, we can discuss it. Well, we've come to the end of another video. I really hope you enjoyed um my display of the survival kit it's version 1.0 there's going to be many many changes to it i'm sure over the coming months and uh you know i'd like to get everyone else's input by all means put down in the uh, comments you know if you think i've omitted something or you know if i have too much in there or, uh you know some things are redundant would love to hear your thoughts on it and again Thanks so much for joining us. Would really like it if you would like, comment, subscribe, and share our videos. Would really help us out. And I hope we'll see you in the next video. Take care.